Our first story involves a team from Ohio State going great distances and heights for a critical study of water. Professors from Ohio State are more than just scientists. They're historians, studying the past to anticipate the future. What we really want is a global picture of how the Earth's climate has changed over time, starting thousands of years ago, coming up to the present. But when it comes to researching the world's disappearing glaciers, scientists at the Bird Polar Research Center in Columbus are in a race against time. Glaciers are often hearkened to be the canaries in the coal mine as global climate warms, and we're seeing these changes dramatically unfolding, really at rates that we didn't anticipate before. What we do at the Bird Polar Research Center really is to understand the Earth system, its changes over time, what causes these changes, and what are the impacts to these changes. We reconstruct the history of Earth's climate from the physical and the chemical observations that we make in ice cores. Our team has spent the last three and a half decades drilling ice cores around the world, from Antarctica to Greenland to the Russian Arctic to Kilimanjaro in Tanzania. 30 years ago, their equipment was expensive and heavy. In response to the need to transport six tons of equipment by pack animals and humans as high as 23,000 feet, the Ohio State teams invented lighter drills. We essentially drill a section of core, like a cylinder. They're about 10 centimeters in diameter, and we drill that from the top of the glacier all the way through to bedrock. So let's use the analogy of a cake. You bake different layers, you put your icing in, and you stack them. And if you were to take a straw and stick the straw through the cake and then pull it out, you'll have each of those layers from the top to the bottom. You can see the air bolts, see the banding and the layering. This is history, the climate of the past. Each of those layers function like rings and tree trunks providing clues to scientists about climate conditions thousands of years ago. It's really important to understand how the ancient climate system works to then compare to what we're seeing now as a human-induced change. For almost 40 years, the bird scientists have collected, measured, and archived these ice cores. Once collected, the samples are sent to the Bird Center's Class 100 Clean Lab Room, where the ice is melted and analyzed. The ice cores are then stored in huge freezers. Some of the cores have resided there for decades, having been collected before the subject of global climate change became an area of intense interest. It's really interesting looking back because we made that decision in the 70s that we wanted to retain a complete section from top to bottom of every core that our team collects. Little did we know at the time that it would turn out to be such a critical decision. In 2000, our team drilled the first and the only ice cores to be drilled on the three remaining ice fields atop Kilimanjaro. 27% of the ice coverage on Kilimanjaro disappeared between 2000 and 2007. Based upon our research, there is likely to be no permanent ice atop Kilimanjaro by 2025. 15 or 20 years from now, the only ice available from Kilimanjaro will be in the Ohio State Archive. It's great that this is in Ohio, but what it is is it's Ohio to the world in terms of an area of research that is so enormously important at this time in the history of this nation and obviously the impact around the world is almost incalculable. 